When a Roman treasure is lost, it's up to Magic Mike to save the day. In the Eagle, Channing Tatum plays Marcus, a decorated Roman officer who wants to restore his family's honor. After being discharged from the military, he volunteers for a mission to retrieve a lost Roman standard that's been seen in the savage north of Britain with only his British slave to help him. Our two heroes embark on a nicely done swords and sandals adventure that's about honor and redemption. But I'm sorry, ladies, there's just no strip tease here. Marcus's father disappeared years ago in the north with the entire 9th Legion and the Golden Eagle, the symbol of the Legion itself. Marcus serves with distinction when he comes to the British Isle, taking over a garrison, but when he's injured, they discharge him. When he hears rumors that this eagle is somewhere in the lands not under Roman control, he and his slave Eska mount a mission to retrieve it, and they have to venture into a land where an entire army disappeared. They have to find this thing basically only on rumor. They live off of hope, and they have to navigate tribes that really agree only on one thing. All Romans must die. This is an entertaining adventure film from beginning to end, but it's more about the building up of this mission. It's more about the quest than it is violence. There are some well shot, well put together action scenes here, but they're small and they're kind of placed throughout the movie in certain sections to keep our interest high because this movie is about the two main characters. They're getting along, there's chemistry here, but there's also animosity. This is a movie that's more walking and talking than it is swords and shields. When I first read the cast list for this movie, I thought it was going to be great till I hit one name. Tatum? Really? I mean, this isn't his normal fare, but I have to admit, he's actually okay in this. Now, he really sells the physical, commanding warrior character, and he does get a few scenes to kind of shine, but overall, he's just okay. The rest of this cast, that includes people like Donald Sutherland and Jamie Bell, they're great. And this sort of points out the whole problem I have with this movie, if you can really call it a problem. It's good. It's not great. I mean, when I look at it, I see great costuming, beautiful locations. I feel like I'm going to go on an epic tale, an epic ride. This is going to be awesome. And instead, it's just a good story. But really, there's nothing wrong with that. I am a fan of films and TV shows set during the age of the Roman Empire, and The Eagle is an interesting, different look into that world that's obviously not historically accurate. If you're a fan of adventure films that are punched up by some nice action scenes, but it's really more about the quest, then this suicidal mission is waiting for you.